Hey, what's up, guys? This is Shogun X, and this is Duke. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing an Isekai tier list. This is the most uh, factual Isekai tier list. Fact. That's not our opinion. Uh, <laughs> I guess I've, I've been watching too much Young Defiant. Alright, so the first animal we have here is Angel Beats. So Angel Beats, you know, it's a sad anime. That's all I remember about it. I don't remember too much. For me, it's kind of mid. Uh, even though it's a 7 out of 10, I, I think it's kind of mid. Uh, I'd give it a B. What about you, the dude? I put it in A. It's very uh, explain your case. Alright, it's very heartwarming. It's very just like it's not flawless. I believe it should have been like, you know, more than thirteen episodes and like you know, it's uh, you feel for these characters or that story is pretty funny at times. You know? Like I think it's very nice. So I say uh B, you say A, and then you decided at the start or actually before we even started this video, you said we're gonna do lower. So I guess we're going lower. Bro, I didn't try. <laughs> what about the end? It made you feel bad at the end. You right? said it lower yourself, bro. You said lower yourself. For what, me, it's a B, bro. Right? And for me, all Isekai anime in general are B, bro. They're, they're not that good. They're so boring, man. They're just like civilization uh, simulators. Like, it's so fucking boring. Oh my god. Um, Alright, we got Konosuba. The most unfunniest anime of all time. Indeed it is. I found it very funny. I enjoyed it. I, just, uh, I, I said unfunny. It. You're such a you're 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 a mom. You're such a dumbass. <laughs> God. Bro. Oh, man. You don't you don't know anything, Shogun. Uh man, but I think I think Konosuba was good though. Like it's at least it's entertaining. I'll give it that for sure. But I think some jokes don't didn't land with me. But you know, humor is subjective. I can see that. I can see how people could like it though. I think it's one of the better ones. It is. I can uh, see that. Where do you put it? Uh, it, on this list for an easy guy tier list, I'll give it a night. I'll give no, it. No, no, no. You have to be honest. Maybe bring out your biggest honest feelings. Hey. No, like not as an easy guy, just like a you know as an anime, your an overall enjoyment and everything. B. But it's not an anime tier list. It's an easy guy anime tier list. I give it an A, bro. It's for Isekai. I'm giving, it, I'm giving it an S. Okay, so it goes A. Also, it's what's the best parts of uh, Konosuba? The dude. No, the funny part. It's been a while since I've seen it. Like, you know, seeing, like, the beginning where he just, like, he basically drags her into the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel like the main character is kind of a wimp. <laughs> Hey man, Curry. it's anime. But also, if, if you guys want to watch actual funny anime, I'd recommend uh, Psyche K or Great Teacher on Izuka. And uh, Masho and Sakamoto Desuga. Those are pretty funny ones. And One Punch Man. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Okay, then we have Overlord. So I haven't seen this one. Uh, so the dude's right, gonna yeah. rank them. People love this anime. I thought it was like a C tier anime. It's really just average. Yo, I thought it was like one of the good Issa guys. Uh, who knows, maybe to you, but to me it was maybe, I don't know, I just didn't really care <laughs> about it. I really the didn't know. I can't, simple. I can't even remember it. Like, all I remember is like the fight at the end and like, you know, some of the characters. I remember some fan service and like, I, I can't even remember why I didn't like it. I always, I just, I see this four years ago. It's like, it's just whatever. It's just nothing. So C me. for can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Can't remember. Uh, and then we have Isekai Cheap Magician. You know, this anime is probably one of the best anime of all time. I think this anime is up there with One Piece, right? One Piece, uh, Full Metal yeah, Alchemist think, Brotherhood. No, I think it's as good as One Piece, as in, like, not very good at all. Oh, uh, come on, man. I know, I know you're gonna say that, bro. But yeah, I was just kidding, bro. This anime is actually trash. No, it's honestly one of the most mediocre pieces of fiction I've ever seen. Like, imagine being mid in a mid genre. Like, you're, it's literally the mid of the mid. It's like a mid off. Like, bro, that's, it's, even, though, it's, 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 even though it's mid, I'm not gonna give it a B, bro. Because I think it's worse than uh, Angel Beats. For me, it's a trash, bro. Like, I, I, I gave up on it. So if, if I drop yeah. an anime, it's trash for me. 
Yeah. It's, what about it's you? Written. What would you rank it? It's honestly the most five out of ten you can ever get to a show. And hey, you know what? Say what you want about horrible anime, like you know, freaking um, what was it um called? Even like One Piece, even like you know, Yuki Diary. Uh, what other horrible anime you have out there? Um, One Punch Man. Oh, school. Yeah, School Days. Say what you want about them. At least they're memorable. But this, even Overlord, it's just like you know, regular mid <laughs> six out of uh, average. This is just it's like I can't. So five out of ten. I don't even know if I want like you know, even give this a five. It's I can't remember <laughs> anything. Only it's like a little bit of magic, a bit of fireballs, like. Honestly, like an it's better if an anime is like bad, just straight up instead of being like mid. Honestly, I right, I give it a trash. Where would you put it? Honestly, just you know what? For, no trash. Putting in trash. We need our trash. This is just this, this is where you it. belong. If you like this anime, bro, and if you imagine, so we actually have someone like defending this anime in the comments. Like, how dumb would that be, bro? <laughs> I'm sure. I right, whatever, man. To each their own dumb opinion. All right, we got um Shield Hero. You know, Shield know. Hero, uh, for me, it's probably one of the most engaging hooks uh, of all Easter guys for me. Or one of the most. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. But, like, it kind of falls off, bro. Yeah, it kind of got worse as a, yeah, season two. I, I honestly kind of just dropped it. Yeah, I didn't even watch season two either. I didn't even watch the first episode of season two. Also, um, Jeez. imagine this anime ended when, uh, when he, he got his revenge, right? Just make this an OVA, man. Imagine, like, he got the revenge on, uh, I'm, this is in quotes. They're at, they actually call her that. They get re their re revenge on the bitch, you know? Yeah, the that's what I was wondering. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, we you know, once you, she was, like, the big, uh, like, a, a, when this anime started, I thought this was what the whole show was going to be about, like, you know, about them. But then, like, after a while, it doesn't even become about her anymore. She's just, like, a side villain. She's not even, like, she just, a. Uh, I also I liked some aspects. I thought he was gonna be more strategic, you know. But then yeah. Oh, but then the shield is just overpowered. He's a shield, but he's offensive. Like, how does that make sense? Yeah. Basically, but the other it, heroes it is... look like are complete yeah, jokes. Yeah. Like the other he heroes are complete jokes. It's like I want more character with them. Maybe they do in the second season, but he dropped that because I was bored. I guess and we'll never know, though, huh? Yeah, but also some of the CG in the show was not very. Yeah. Uh, I do remember this one cringy part though, and I know what? you love that beach episode. I'm not talking about the what? beach episode. Rough either, but... well, hey, I'm man, about, chill like... out. For me, that's like top ten anime, you know. Oh yeah, I'm Why talking, talking about the like, talking about the like the moment like where no, they're they're, they're like the this shield, the anger shield, like you know the rage is about to take him over, and then all of a sudden you see like the in his head, you see his party members like coming over. They're like, oh. Don't do this. Will God love all your bad feelings away? <laughs> just like, what is this kind of shit? Bruh. Alright, but I, I, after saying all of that, right? Uh, I, go ahead. Finish your thoughts. So also, no I do it. not like uh, the rock, the rock Talia and the um, freaking um, Nayuk Nafumi romance. It just feels so weird. because. Like, I mean, yeah, it is kind of weird, though. I, like, do not I, I don't care about the romance. I'm I'm just thinking about Rotali like alone. But like, bro, yeah. Because now that you say it, bro, because isn't wasn't she like a slave in the, at the start? And then she's like a little kid at the start. I know. It's like she grows older. It's just like she, you know, the episode uh, where she's shield just, hero. Where she was just like a little kid. Where she's like you know little really little kid. Yeah, just leave like, that you know, to no game no life. Leave that to that. You know, shield yeah, hero. Come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I but then I, I did like it more than a Konosuba though. Uh, after saying all of that, right, I still give it an A and have my attention. I give it a B. There's also the stuff with the Pope that just feels so out of nowhere. And it's just like, what is happening? Slime Isagai. Oh, where do you put it? Yeah. You know, for me, this actually started off so interesting, man. Like, it, I kind of... Like I fell in love with the world. I like the characters. The main character was kind of different because he's not—he's not like an actual character. He's literally slime. Like it's like oh, it's, it's a big ha ha. But and then the dragon uh, part was cool. But then later on, just it just turns kind of like slow pace. And I feel like I feel like it's gonna eventually become like every generic isekai. I know there's some political aspects about it because they're trying to like grow their civilization, right? Uh, 
if, if you like that aspect in anime, you might enjoy it, but for, that's not for me, man. I remember you used to call it slime trash. Oh, yeah, yeah. You called it slime trash? Seriously. I guess I was forcing myself to watch this. It's like one of the animes like I had to force myself to finish. I like to start, by the end, I was... I yeah, wanted to throw up. Much of, like, you know, an anime, then, like, yeah, that's more of, like, a C-tier or trash tier. Yeah. Me, but however, on this like, list... On this list, I would put it, uh, C, yeah, C. You, you're putting in C? Yeah. Alright, well, I would put it either between A or B, but it doesn't matter because you put it, you're putting it in C. So it's probably gonna go in C tier, but, you know, you can, you, we could put it B if you want. Low uh, B. We, we agree, the lower, and, you know, hey, you know, this is kind of fun, like, you know, debating this, so. <laughs> But, uh, like, like I was saying, I really like the aspect of, you know, little slime, you know, taking over everything. But, like, uh -huh. I think, you know, him taking over and, like, you know, just coming over and, like, I think the young Divine even said that he's kind of OP. Now that you kind of mention it, I can kind of see its flaws now, but I think at the time I was kind of addicted to it. Yeah, I feel like if you haven't seen a lot of easy guys, right, this is, like, a fun watch. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Damn it, why? Like I'm putting it. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're right here. Also, one thing I didn't like was. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fine. What, what was the one thing you don't like? I don't like that pink haired girl. All of a sudden, she's <laughs> super overpowered, and this blind just takes care of her with some food. Yeah. Like, what? Okay. And then uh, this. Okay, yeah. Forget about slime, man. We're, we're, we're literally on her first S tier for me. I love No Game No Life. I recognize the major flaw. It's not even a flaw, but it's just like a weird aspect like the director have. Like the incest relationship between the sister and brother, bro. I, I know that's bad, but like other than that, No Game No Life is an S tier anime for me, man. I love it. Well, like you said, this is your first S tier. This is my first trash tier for me, really. Hey, you're, just, you're stupid, bro. <laughs> Yo. Part of my like friends, but fuck you, bro. What? Oh, I see. Now you're really like getting into it. <laughs> no, nah, man. No game of life, bro. Okay, it stands off from all the other Easter guys. You got, bro. You got mind games, man. When I search up anime, like, okay, I searched up anime like Death Note. This is one of the ones that popped up. I searched up, oh, anime with smart main character. This is the one that popped up, and I actually like it. No, honestly. Like, come on, man. You you can't lie. This this the main character. It's, it's nice, like, having actually, like, a decent, smart main character, bro. Compared to your generic, you know, dumb isekai protagonist. Well, I do remember that one chess match, though, like, where they were playing chess, and all of a sudden, he, he was about to lose, and all these like, oh, please, don't do this, queen. You're a good queen, and it was a perfect man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, oh, yeah, now that you, I remember, I, I remember another flaw of this anime, bro. Remember, remember the coin toss? Yeah, well, I think so. It, it like it's like oh heads you win or tails I lose and then it, it lands in the middle. That is kind of stupid though if you think about it. I barely remember the show. It's so it's like cool. loopholes the anime. I feel like if you if you're into games and all that, it's like an interesting anime, bro. For me, yeah, I just loved it because bro, it's such a nice world, bro. It's so refreshing, like compared to every other generic um mid medieval I, type world village. This is so refreshing. I found bro. it so excruciatingly boring. Like, just, oh god, I did not care about the games. I did not care. I did not care about this girl and her grandfather. What about the like, mind like, games, bro? No, no, that did not. Like, this is dumb. Like, I, I, forgot I feel like this is your One Piece, bro. I feel like. I it's like, think everyone. It's, 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 like, it's a good anime part. that you hate. Oh my god, this is one of the worst animes I've seen. Like, the art style, too, is just god awful. It, I do not like the art style. It looks cool. It just. Yeah, I feel me. like. I feel like now that you say, I think. You either love No Game No Life or you hate it. Yeah, and it's not even including the freaking edgy stuff like the looking at the eleven year old. It's just like, come on, Japan. I already say yeah, that's the only. I'm giving an S here. You say trash, so it's going in the dead center. D. Top of B. No, no, trash. Oh yeah. Yeah. None of the okay, you said trash. I said S, so we balance it out. Oh, no, you have to put it in trash because it's trash. Oh, shut up, bro. I'm no, not. Were very funny. All the characters were very 
uninteresting. I didn't care about those. But now, oh fuck, that little eleven year old. Like the only thing I remember is how they, you know, all the etchy stuff with her. Oh yeah. Yeah. I. I. Uh, uh, let's do hmm. ReZero. Yeah. Try. Try. <laughs> Guys, why do people like ReZero, bro? We're not including the second season, but like the first season is so such a hard watch bro it's like excruciating bro like i feel like i suffered more than the protagonist watching like what he was doing bro like he's such a dumbass no, I, I just found the world building so boring like i was just like no i thought the world building i was like wait can we learn more about this uh, world and all please but it's just like no not much it's like some politics uh, i forgot some politics but I didn't even finish it. I saw like seventy five percent of it. And I just dropped it. I know you finished it. I finished it. I think it's good. Uh, I mean, I think it's worth finishing. At least. No, I didn't think it was worth. You know what was good though? The the opening and ending songs. They're pretty good. No, I didn't care about that. Because I think it's worth finishing though. I remember Super. It's still, it's still a hard watch though, man. It's hard to get through. Like I can't read really remember. I don't think it's trash time. though. I think it's I think it's a C tier. You say trash, we go trash. Uh, it's more like also a Rem's better. Rem's better. Rem's better. Yeah, there's also that. I didn't like any of the characters. I feel like they had a thing for torturing Subaru. A lot of the villains. I remember this one villain was like they had an obsession with torture. Like you know, with, it was just so over dramatic at times. I just found that I didn't really care. Like even yeah. super like a lot of these guys I've just wondering like you know why do they not care about this world that we just randomly thrown he, he doesn't even question it it's just like who was he even before this it's just like it doesn't make sense all right let's let's quickly wrap this video up because you know it's getting kind of long i guess that's just how much we hate each other right, um we got this one the dude the grandchild anime whatever it's called rank it this might be controversial. I know this anime is pretty hated. I know it's. I can kind of see why, but I kind of found it fun, so I wouldn't mind giving it a B. Right. Sao, you haven't seen it, so you're gonna shut the fuck up, bro. Sao, man, why do people hate Sao so much, man? I, I think no, I know I the reason why, because like it starts off good. It's it has, it has the best hook of all time, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, how can you not be hooked? Oh, okay. If, if like, your protagonist, uh, like, he gets sucked into another world, and if he dies in that world, he dies in real life. Like, come on, man. Like, I think it was also, like, one of the first ones, first Isekai anime that was out there, so... It was, like, it was good for its time. Um, I, I only I saw the first season, half. so that's what I'm rating it off. Yeah, I heard the second half sucks. Yeah, I think they start using guns. Like, it turns into, like, Gun Gill Online or some shit. Like, bro, who cares about that, man? SAO, I like that. I enjoyed my time with SAO. For, for an Isekai, this might be a hot take, bro. Uh, I give it an S here. You know, for it's one of a for... kind, man. It has, it does hype good. I love the fire action scenes, the fights, everything. I love it. Damn, that's about it. That might be the hottest take of this video. Yeah. Also, um, I feel like I was gonna say. I mean, this this also, list. yeah, I noticed there's there's also some incest in this. But what's with isekai and incest? What's with wait, I guess wait, like wait. anime and incest? This is weird, man. Yo, fix it. Yo, right. wait for the B tier. Why is um no game no life higher than the rest of them? Uh, cause I right, so Mushoku Tensei. What do you what do you rate Mushoku Tensei? All right, I give it an S tier. All right, your reasoning. All right, one, I found the world building really interesting, and it does something, and I'm gonna give it this one. It does something with other isekais never do. You know, what? because you show. But here's the thing, you know how a lot of isekais, like they, a lot of the characters don't even question it, they're just thrown into another world, and she's like, oh, well, I guess that's it. This uh -huh. guy, character, however, was a complete piece of trash in his old life, and he, and he remembers it all. He does, like most of these guys are just like, oh look, life simulator, are you a loser? Are you watching, don't you want a fantasy <laughs> world? But this one, I think even Giga said it, like this guy, like he learns, he, he becomes a better person from the world he's thrown in. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, there's some edgy stuff in here, that's very, just, that does seem weird, but the sh but it is wrong. I can understand why people might find it disturbing, but. 
I think um, a lot of people have already talked about that, so we're not going to deal with that, but I'm going to deal with the story. I found the map that Magic very interesting, I find his development very interesting, I really, yeah. The world building entirely, like, you know, and also it is pretty damn funny. Alright, so I haven't seen it, I might give it a watch, you know, eventually. Yeah, um, and the ending. But yeah, you got any finishing thoughts on the serial list of dude? Um, yeah, no game no life is a bit too high. Come it's, on, man. I think I think you're kind of high, bro. I think you're kind of high for that take. <laughs> also, yeah, uh, you go ahead. It's it's really boring. Put it down, man. It's come on, man. All right. So so that's the tier list, guys. We know we haven't seen like uh, like a bunch of Isekai, but I feel like I, I honestly I'm not gonna watch anymore. 